This is a short video to walk you through the baking soda lab report that you'll be writing uh, for me as an assignment. So just a reminder, um, you were burning baking soda to have it decompose into new compounds. Remember, decomposition is where when you heat atoms, they move so quickly that they break their bonds and rearrange themselves. And that's what we did in the lab. Now, in order to um, work through this lab report, you were presented with four possible chemical equations um, in the guiding question. The first one being that you have baking soda, which is NaHCO3, breaking down to NaOH solid and CO2 gas. And then it works through the other possible reasons. In equation two, you have another sort of possible way that it could break down that baking soda, equation three, a third way, and then lastly, a fourth way. When you worked through these problems, you uh, used stoichiometry to figure out what solid remained in the beaker. And you could, through stoichiometry, predict what that value should be. So for example, in equation one, if I started with 10 grams of baking soda, NaHCO3, I could use stoichiometry to determine how much NaOH I would expect to have in the beaker. And you hopefully shared out all of those answers. Then when we did the lab, you got your results, and your results then are hopefully a match to what one of those predictable solids was going to be. So if your match was with equation one, then you would say that equation one was the correct way that baking soda decomposes. So that's the purpose of the lab, and you're going to notice that purpose of the lab is uh, right by the scientific background. One of the things that you also talked about, uh, or we talked about in order to do the lab, was stoichiometry. So you want to make sure in that scientific background, you give ba uh, some information to the reader who knows nothing about chemistry. What is stoichiometry and, what is, and how is it used? As well as what is a decomposition reaction? Because that's what we're doing with the baking soda. Um, for an evaluation of strategy, um, you're going to summarize what you did in the lab, what type of data did you collect, and why did you collect that data? What, how did that data help you answer your guiding question? Um, and was it a, a good way of approaching it? For the procedure, um, you're going to be talking about the actual experiment itself, all right? Not the strategy of how you went about um, answering your guiding question, but did anything happen in the lab? Did you spill baking soda? Um, did you feel like perhaps you didn't burn all the baking soda um, into its different components? Um, what sort of things happened? If nothing happened, you felt like your data was good, talk about what were the things that went well. All right, for the data, remember we're taking a look at the baking soda, and I should actually say for this one um, of solid chemical. Uh, you're looking at how, many, how much baking soda you started with. Um, keep in mind that we're using the crucible and how much uh, of your solid chemical you ended up with. And I think all of you were able to collect that data and share that out. So those are simply numbers, do not forget units. For data analysis, uh, be sure that for data analysis, what you're doing is that you are taking a picture of all four calculations from each equation written in your own handwriting. So these are something that needs to be written in your own handwriting. You're going to write, uh, you're going to put that image there, and then you're going to identify which equation is the right equation. The last piece, which is the most important piece, is the claims, evidence, and reasoning. For this one, I want you to please look at your old labs. This lab is worth a lot of points. And the old labs, just to remind you, are the Flame Lab and Coulomb's Lab. 
that you'll find on Schoology on November 8th and October 20th. And I went through a lot of, uh, gave you a lot of feedback on how to write um, CER. So be sure you reread through all of your comments so that you don't make the same mistakes, okay? So please open those up and, and use that. Um, just a reminder, when it comes to actually writing reasoning, remember the first thing you want to do is summarize your data using numbers, okay? So what were your results? And then explain how um, the, that data more or less identifies which chemical equation is right and why it is right. In other words, what's happening in the lab? How could you predict that? And how are you convinced that your equation is right and that the other three are wrong? Don't forget to include why the other three are not correct. And that should work out to hopefully help you through writing your lab. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be um, available before school and after school.